Where I'm from, standing in front of a camera and doing top 10 videos is seen as incredibly rude. My family doesn't even talk to me anymore. I'm just kidding of course, but there are common things that you probably do in your day to day life that someone else in the world would consider the absolute height of rudeness. If you ever hope to travel the world someday, you're really going to want to pay close attention to this list if you want to stay out of trouble. My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 rudest gestures around the world. Also quick notice to say thanks so much to the huge interest that all of you have had in our merch. We now have brand new merch. We've got new designs on our t-shirts and our hoodies and on so much more. So go and see which one is your favorite in the link below at mostamazingshop.com. Go and check it out. All right, coming in at number 10 now, we have thumbs up like this. <laughs> In case you didn't know. To a lot of you guys watching this video, this probably means good. Things are great. They're up, like my thumb. However, if you're watching this from parts of perhaps the Middle East, Latin America, perhaps Western African countries, Russia, or even Greece, then I'm sorry for what I just did. You guys will know that it's basically the equivalent to putting your middle finger up. I'm pretty sure I've done a thumbs up in a lot of videos on this channel before. Maybe we should start blurring that out. <laughs> Next up at number nine now, we have tipping. What could be nicer than leaving some extra money for a service as a way of saying thank you? Well, if you think like that, you're probably not from Japan or South Korea. You see, in these countries, leaving extra money for a job well done is sometimes seen as an insult. Some workers feel they are already being paid to do their job, they take pride in doing it, and receiving extra money seems like an incentive for people who aren't willingly doing a good job, which they feel like they are. That's a really interesting one, and I totally understand where that thought process comes from, but I mean, to me, a tip's a tip, you know? A tip's a tip. That's my well thought out counter argument. All right, at number eight now, we have finishing your meal. If I cooked you guys a meal and you left some of it on the plate, I might think you didn't really like it that much, or at least some part of it. Well, in places such as China, the Philippines, Thailand, and parts of Russia, finishing your meal may actually be seen as rude. It may be seen as saying that this wasn't enough food for me. If you leave a little bit on your plate, you're kind of saying, yes, I enjoyed it, and it was enough food for me because I couldn't quite finish it. Although, I would always finish my meals, no matter where. I was in the world. I have a problem. Next up, at number seven now, we have hands in pockets. Growing up in England, I would sometimes have teachers tell me to get my hands out of my pockets, but other than that, I never really experienced it being seen as something you shouldn't do. There are some countries though, such as Turkey, Poland, and Belgium, to name but a few, where it's seen as very rude if you talk to someone with one or two hands in your pockets. I'd be interested to know more about this. Is it because you're not being very open, or like, I don't know, you're slouching, or something like that? I'm not sure sure, let me know in the comments. Moving on to the number six spot now, we have condiments. I'm sure a lot of you watching this would see nothing wrong with going to a restaurant and asking for sauces to go with your meal. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, that kind of thing. Well, in some places, such as France, Italy, Spain, or Japan, asking for condiments to alter the taste of your food might be seen as a way of saying the food doesn't really taste very nice by itself. A chef may work very hard on the meal to get the taste just how they want it and don't really like to see you drown the whole thing in ketchup. I do definitely understand this one. I get it. What do you guys think though? I know some of you are probably thinking, hey, it's my meal. I paid for it. I'll do what I want with it. I can also see that one too. It's tricky. Next up at number five now, we have wrapping paper. Imagine it's your birthday and someone hands you a gift. You think you know what it is. They got all the hints you gave them. You're very excited. And what do you do? You might just rip the wrapping paper right off there and then, right? Well, there are some countries where that might not be so polite. In some parts of China, Morocco, or Romania, it may be seen as rude to open your present in front of the person that just gave it to you. It could be seen as being greedy or materialistic, as if what the present is is more important than the gesture of someone giving it to you. Have you guys ever experienced this somewhere before? It's a really interesting one. Where I'm from, it's kind of seen as rude if you don't open it in front of them because it's like you don't really care. Next up at number four now, we have even number of flowers. This is a very, very niche one coming from Russia. In Russia, it's seen as rude if you give someone an even number of flowers. Two, four, six roses, don't do it. An odd number though is totally fine. This comes from the fact that an even number of flowers is only ever given at few Funerals. It's associated with death or even inviting death upon a person if you aren't at a funeral. So if you're not from Russia and you ever go there, count those flowers. Count them twice. Next up at number three now, we have the OK symbol. This. This means OK. 
state. In places like the UK, Ireland, Canada and the US. Not everywhere though. In some parts of France, Greece and other European countries this hand gesture is seen as you saying something is worthless or insignificant. So don't do that if someone asks you how their food tastes. It's even worse though in some South American countries such as Brazil and Venezuela. It's seen there as vulgar slang. It's essentially the equivalent of putting your middle finger up at them. I'm starting to think that every hand gesture is offensive to someone somewhere. At number 2 now we have fingers crossed. A lot of you guys watching from western countries will recognise that this means wishing, hoping or good luck. Fingers crossed. It does not mean that in Vietnam though. There it's seen as a quick, crude and impolite shorthand for a woman's vagina. So yeah, if you're not from Vietnam and you ever visit there, be very careful when it comes to wishing someone good luck. You may get some very strange looks. And finally, coming in at the number one spot now, we have compliments. If I went to your house and said, hey, that's a nice poster on your wall, you might say, thank you, and feel slightly proud in your choice of posters. In some countries, though, complimenting an item a person owns can be a little more tricky. In some parts of the Middle East, as well as the African nations of Nigeria and Senegal, complimenting an item may be seen as you wanting that item for yourself. This is because of a culture of hospitality in these countries. A host may want to please a guest so much they feel obliged to give the item they compliment complimented to them. Because of this, guests are very aware that some things shouldn't really be complimented, even if they are really, really, really nice. Well guys, that is that. I am 100% sure there's going to be many comments on this video saying that I got this wrong or that wrong about a country. I'm sorry if that's the case. I tried my best with the research for this one. Even within countries, there may be cultural differences. There are just so many traditions out there. I think that's awesome though. I love learning about different cultures around the world. I hope you guys did too with this video. My name is Danny Burke. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>